everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sew for Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. I love for fashion, fabrics, dressmaking and we just have general sewing and live chit chat. So if that's something that sounds of interest to you, please keep on watching. Welcome back to all my regular viewers and if you're new here, I hope you enjoy um, my vlog and consider subscribing. Welcome everybody to this week's Friday Sews. So my Friday Sews vlog is where I talk to you about what I've been doing in the past week when it comes to all things sewing and stitch related and also talk to you about what my plans are for the week ahead. So hopefully you will enjoy that. So then, what have I been doing this week? Well, apart from melting, um, yeah, for those of you that don't live in the UK, you've probably heard a lot of the sewing vloggers talking about how hot it has been in the UK. Now, we like a nice summer in the UK and when we get one it can be lovely but we're just not used to 40 degree heat when we've got to go about our business. Yes I'm all for 40 degree heat when I'm walking around in my bikini and the only strenuous exercise I have to do is getting up from the um, beach towel to the bar or getting up from the beach towel to have a swim. Um, but yeah this week it has been very very hot. We've had the hottest year, hottest day ever recorded in the history books on was it tuesday um this week yeah. how that kind of influenced my sewing uh this week or my sewing practice this week is i haven't been able to do sewing uh, a lot of sewing because it's been so hot in the conservatory of an evening especially because that's when the sun hits the sun hits my conservatory at about half past one two o'clock in the afternoon so that's meant that you know my evening sewing time just i've not been able to do it so that's been quite disappointing. So what I've been doing instead is doing other sewing activities. So I did I did actually complete a make though, which I can talk to you about. So very, very often I have a week of plans of what I want to do in my head and I talk about that on my Friday sews. And then a new pattern gets released and it basically takes my attention away from all my plans. They all go out the window and I buy that pattern and make it. <laughs> So that happened um, this week with the new pattern from Friday Pattern Company, which I'll just grab. So this is the new pattern from Friday Pattern Company, which is called the Alcyon. I think that's how you say it. Alcyon? Al Alcyon. I think that's how you say it. Body suit. Now, I am... Um, I'll just get the pictures up here because I don't think the picture on the front is the best image of it, to be fair. Um, I'll show you the line drawings if I can find them. So these are the line drawings. So this pattern is a bodysuit and I am not usually one for bodysuits, I must admit. I find them quite uncomfortable with the studs um, in the crotch area. Um, and yeah, they're just not my, they're not my style really. Um, so I've always shied away from them. However, the thing that really sold me on this one was a couple of things. The main thing is that the bodysuit crotch area is basically like a swimsuit so there is no um fasteners underneath the crotch area it's just literally all um sewn at the seam underneath um and that meant that that area is quite comfortable and you kind of step into it which really appealed to me and then i also love this detail here it's uh, got a seam across just under the bust in this lovely curved detail which i was really really uh kind of inspired by and the Chelsea from Friday Pattern Company in her promotion video um, talked about you know it's a great opportunity for um, using up your scraps and you know colour blocking and making some really interesting patterns um, you know interesting um, combinations so I really really like that and I thought right let's give this a go um, and see how we get on so I had a look at the measurements. Uh, the measurements come in standard Friday Pattern Company sizing, extra small to 7X. And I went for the medium. The medium measurements are a 36 to 37 bust, a 28 to 29 waist, and a 37 to 38 inch hip. Now, this pattern does require 50 pen, uh, four way stretch with 50% um, across grain stretch. And that is because you do need to step into it and um, put it over your hips, basically. And the finished measurement garment got finished measurement. I'll get my words out. Finished garment measurements have got negative ease, so it wasn't really an indication. 
So I finished this make on Sunday uh, and I made this in a beautiful Modal jersey that I got from Guthrie and Garney in this navy here and I also had this remnant piece which I think was like 0.6, not even that, um, yeah 0.6 metres um, to make the top part and if I spin it round you can see that I used the neckline, wanted to do a bit of coordinating neckline and then obviously the arms are in the um, fabric as well, the contrast fabric, and it's a complete one piece at the back, which is lovely, super soft, this jersey, and um, it's got a lining around the bust, which is really nice detail, and then I just absolutely love this curved detail. I really enjoyed sewing this up. My top stitch stitching is amazing, if I do say so myself. I'm really, well, it's amazing for me. I'm very, very pleased with it. I will try and zoom in on it. So now, obviously it might not be perfect, but to me, I just think it's really lovely and neat. Um, and yeah, it just came together really, really well. I have a little label in the back, which I can show you, which basically says sewist. And this is from Kylie and the Machine. Try and show that, oh, it's upside down. Do it that way. Let's have a look. <laughs> sewist yeah um i thought that would go really nicely with it in this gold shimmer oh a thread and there's two cuff options there's a slim cuff and then there's a, um, a thick wide cuff uh that you can make buy it from the slim cuff and there's leg binding around the legs show you the leg detail if you can see that so there's a, um, a binding detail here um which you basically um finish I've just finished there you can top stitch but I haven't top stitched that down just need actually pressing uh, but yeah I'm really really pleased with it now I haven't got a photograph of me in it 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 does fit me <laughs> I will say it does fit me it is a little bit snug across the bust but it fits really nicely across the hips and the waist actually um, and I think um, you know it's comfortable enough to wear but I will be happier when I lose a bit of weight, to be honest with you, um, a few inches from each um, area. But yeah, I think the, the large would have been too big. So I'm really, really happy with that. And it's a great pattern. The only problem with it is it's not very summery at all. Um, it's probably going to be okay now the heat's gone down a little bit and will be perfect. I mean, it'll be perfect for for late summer, autumn, you know, when we get to September and October. And, you know, this was my twirl. I, I, I was using these remnant pieces here um, to really twirl this, but it is definitely a wearable twirl. I love it. So, yeah, I really recommend this pattern. I will make some more and I'm keen to make a plain one, I think. The plain bodysuit because it's even because it's got this detail it, it's really nice and there's lots of things you can do to play with it you could have the arms a different color um to the bodice and you know you can do so much with it that i think it's got lots of opportunities and as i say a great scrap buster so again friday pattern company chelsea you've um come up with a really lovely pattern there and instructions were incredibly easy to follow as always and i really enjoyed making it let me know if you've made it and how you've how you found you got on with it. I'm really keen to to know your thoughts. So I'll just move stitch out the way. Okay, so that's what I've been sewing. Well, that's the only garment I've actually sewn up this week. Now I did threaten <laughs> on one of my Instagram stories that I had received the thread to complete my dragon fruit dress. So my dragon fruit dress, um, I, I got. I shared about it in my last Friday sews. I'd got quite a lot a long way through making the bodice I'd sewn up most of the skirt I just hadn't attached the bodice to the skirt because I ran out of thread I unpicked it so much because I just couldn't get to grips with the instructions I don't know if it was the instructions or if it was me uh, that I yeah ran out of thread so yesterday my thread arrived and I put an Instagram post on saying let's do this let's sew the rest of this dress up came to sew it at the evening and could I find the thread anywhere I just don't know what I've done with it so this is the dragon fruit dress bodice that's the I think that's the front yeah that's the front and that's the back it's got these beautiful frills on it and yeah I was all ready to sew it up to the skirt here 
but yeah, I cannot do that until I find the thread. I've literally lost the thread. So that was a bit annoying, but I took it as a sign that, you know, that just wasn't meant to be on my mate list this week. Now so I either need to have a big scour in my sewing room to try and find what I've done with it, which I think is what I'm going to do, or purchase another lilac, 159, 158, whatever colour it is. Uh, what else have I been doing? So as I say, no other sewing uh, garments, sewed up garments this week, but I did take the opportunity. Let's get some of these projects cut out that I talked about getting done. So the first thing that I cut out was the, one of the patterns I got when I went to see when I went to the Crafty So and So um, as a free pattern that they gave me. And they, I think I should remember, they allowed us to look through the patterns that they had been given over the past year or so from Love Sewing Magazine. And although I subscribe to Love Sewing Magazine, I haven't been subscribing for that long. So I thought there might be some in there that I didn't have. And this shirt dress pattern, which is called the Josie pattern, I thought was stunning. I really, really liked um, all of the versions, to be honest with you. I'm not so keen on the mandarin collar, but I thought I could do this long version with the normal collar if I had enough fabric and there's the midi length as well. And yeah, I just thought it was stunning. Now, I had a real clear image of what fabric I was going to use for this. When I went to the sewing for, no, the creative craft show that I went with my mum a couple of weeks ago, I got a, a lovely cotton, a rose and bubble cotton poplin excuse the rustling in this beautiful sunflower retro print in these browns and yellows and greens and absolutely fell in love with this so i i think i got two meters excuse me i got two meters of it with not really any idea what i was going to make with it so i'm a bit gutted that i didn't buy three meters of it to be honest with you because i was looking at this and talking to my part my husband about it and I was very, very set on making this view A. It was loose fitting, no ties, and I thought that'd be really nice. And then the more and more we were talking about it, he actually said he really liked this version of it um, with the split up the side and with the tie. And I thought that that would be a perfect... Um, actually, the more I thought about it, the more I thought that um, that would be a really lovely make. And I also thought, oh, I've got a lovely belt buckle that I could use like the model has here. So in one of my So Hayley Jane boxes, I got this beautiful resin um, belt buckle from Ethel and Joan in these gold silvers. And I thought that would go really well to match with this. So straight away, all my creative like juices was fl were flowing. But unfortunately, in order to make that view, you need two and a half meters really of fabric and I only had two and it's a narrow fabric uh this rose and hubble cotton so in the end I ended up having to go with this version but I'm still really excited to make it and it's got some really interesting details that I didn't really notice when I looked at the pattern and it's only really obvious if you use a directional print mine isn't directional the flowers have no stalk so it doesn't really matter which way up they are but if you can see here the actual stripes go that way at the across the yoke and then vertical that way down the um body of the shirt dress so if you use a stripe that will create a really lovely contrast so yeah i really really like that and once i once i go at making this pattern and getting this, the fit right i'm going to look at making it in a striped cotton um or a striped seersucker or something like that i think would be really beautiful in that pattern and i did have somebody on my comments say that they love this pattern and have made many of them so. And then the final thing that I cut out was the Nina dress by Fibre Mood, which I'd been threatening to do for about three Friday sews. So this is the Nina dress by Friday, Friday, uh, Fibre, did a mashup of Friday Pattern Company and Fibre Mood then, of Fibre Mood. 
and this is the dress it's got a lovely open back detail with a tie and then the front has got these gorgeous little pleats all the way all the way down i've looked at my measurements it's got quite a lot of ease this pattern and i've gone for a size um uk size 10 uh it's got a tie at the back it's got quite a it's got elasticated high waist and then yeah and over the hips it's quite flowy over the hips and i've took three inches off the length of it as well because it looked quite long and this is the fabric i have cut it out in it's a cotton lawn fabric that i got from higgs and higgs which um when i went to the creative craft show beautiful and i've got a little bit of this fabric left which i think i probably would have enough to make alice a little outfit in it as well so that might turn into another be curious dress if I have enough um, I think that would look beautiful and we could be matching <laughs> I have a d-stash account called sofa serenity underscore d-stash I'll put a link to it if you don't follow me already I haven't got that many followers on it actually I've got about a thousand followers on Instagram but only about 150 on this d-stash account I've already sold quite a lot of fabrics on there but there's still quite a lot of fabric on there and I've still got quite a lot of fabric to put on there and I must admit the more I'm selling on it the more it is spurring me on to let go of some of the fabric that perhaps I've been reluctant to but deep down I know I'm probably not going to make anything with. I've also got quite a few patterns on there as well um, which are for sale so yeah please have a head over there and see what see if you like anything. So what else have I been doing? I've been doing a little bit of shopping. Obviously, I'm de-stashing, so I'm getting money in. So I am then also spending. So the first thing that I did was purchase some fab one piece of fabric and a pattern from a de-stash account. Rachel over at Stitched Up is de-stashing a lot of her lovely fabric um, on her de-stash account and also some patterns. One of the first things that I purchased was this wonderful pattern, which is a little bit retro. It's a butterick pattern, which is 3860, fast and easy for girls. And it's a woven, I believe, yeah, woven pattern for basically like a pyjama or, well, you could say pyjamas or you could put it as, as dresses and shorts and a top. My girls really like shorts and tops for pyjamas and these types of styles so this is what really stood out to me that that would be a great pattern for them. Um, so yeah I grabbed it, thought this could come to me to have a little look at and hopefully make my girls something really really nice. So that's that one. And then I saw this wonderful fabric that is a cotton lawn that has got these beautiful elephants all over it in cream and blues and i think there was just over a meter of it uh yeah and it's just stunning i really really like it i i kept looking at it it hadn't sold and i kept going back and looking at it and yeah i couldn't resist it so i purchased it i can't actually remember how much it was for i think it was a 10 10 pounds plus postage and packaging and yeah i just really really like that and i'm gonna make some kind of little top i think that'll go really nice with a linen a pair of um, navy linen trousers or shorts or yeah I've got quite a lot of navy linen or viscose planes that I want to make some some um, wide leg trousers some shorts I'm thinking something like quite simple because of the detail on it like the um, Ashton top is it the Ashton top or Helen's closet it might not be that I'll put a picture of which one I'm talking about but yeah just a simple little top simple little boxy top I would like to make with that so yeah that was a lovely little find on Rachel's D-Stash account. Head over to her D-Stash account she has got absolutely loads of fabric still on there. The other thing that I have purchased this week is um, some fabric but I didn't pay for it. It was, if those of you that remember that I won one of the prizes in the Sew Fruity 22 competition. I sewed quite a few little garments for my daughter with a fruity theme and I won for one of them, which was I think the strawberry outfit, which was shorts and a top with strawberries on it. I won a £25 gift voucher for Hey so Sister, which I absolutely love as a store. Um, buy quite a lot of stuff from them. And it's took me a while to spend it actually, because every time I run on the website, I kept looking at it thinking, oh, there's not anything that really jumps out at me. There was one fabric that was jumping out at me. But you know when you see a fabric and you just think, is it only me that would like this fabric? Will it look a bit crazy? 
and I kept gumming and ahhing and then you know when you really know that you should have bought it is when it sells out and I was gutted it sold out and then I was having a look at other places for it and I think they had it on Sew Me Sunshine for the same price but again that had sold out and I was like oh no it's sold out everywhere so I was really disappointed um, and yeah I kind of couldn't get it out of my head and then I went back on a few days later and there was a message to say that they'd restocked it on Instagram and I just couldn't believe it so straight away I snapped it up used my voucher I think I've got three meters actually of it so I probably yeah I went a couple of pounds over with postage and packaging but it was great and as always it comes in a beautiful package from um Georgie and Ollie Ooh. and oh it didn't say who packaged mine today usually there's a little sticker that says who did it but it doesn't say so um hey so sister life is too short for boring fabric definitely a little card and then it always has um there you go. Always has a lovely little note. It says, Hi Adele, hope you have fun with your new fabric with lots of love and happy sewing, Georgie and Ollie. And then there's some lovely little cards in there. There was a thanks, I made it. And then on the button it says like pattern notes, etc. And then this one says thanks, I made it too. And has a little to-do list. So they will look really lovely in my room as well. So they will go up. And this is a cotton poplin and it's called holiday cotton poplin i believe let me just check yeah summer holiday cotton poplin and i ordered three meters of this and it was four pound fifty a half half meter so nine pound a meter and this is it oh how fun is this let me just put this tissue paper down so i'm not whistling all over you this is absolutely stunning it's basically got let me just check i've got it the way around there we go it's basically these beautiful reds lilacs yellows and greens and it's got um pineapples fruit it's got a deck little like i suppose it's like a deck chair and yeah it's just really lovely and i've seen some beautiful shorts um sorry beautiful shirts made in this and in my vision in my head i want to make a lovely kind of shirt like i suppose i suppose a hawaiian shirt so perhaps quite a unisex shirt um, and there's some shorts to go with it so it's almost like a, um, a fake jumpsuit because I imagine I'll have the shirt maybe tucked in or not and it can also be separates as well because you could wear the shorts with a white top a lilac top there's lots of options but yeah I just thought it was so much fun but I was worried that people would think I was mental for buying something like this but as I say as soon as it sold out and I knew I couldn't get it I was gutted so I think they've still got this in stock if anyone's as crazy as me and wants some but yeah, it was completely, well, pretty much free as well. It cost me £27 and I had a voucher for 25 So really, really chuffed with that and excited to make something lovely and summery in it. Love it. So thanks again for um, Yvette at Blossom Sandwich for um, hosting a brilliant challenge. Really enjoyed it and really enjoyed winning as well. So yeah, thank you so much. So that's that. Other things that I've been buying, I did a little trip to Home Bargains at the weekend, which for those of you that don't live in the UK, Home Bargains is basically what it says on the tin. It's a discount store that has just sells everything from toiletries to food um, to, um, yeah, ugh, I, like every, everything you can imagine, party supplies, craft kits, toys, everything. It's like a massive, massive store and they're just amazing shops. Very much like the B&M, you might hear other people other british youtubers talking about b&m as well and very much everything you could possibly want garden supplies everything's in there and i tend to go in there sometimes to get um some of the toiletries because they're a bit cheaper and also have always have a little mooch around the shop and they have a really nice craft section at the moment and there was three things that i picked up from this craft shop the first one was 3.99 so three pounds 99 and it was a punch plier so this is for um, making um, basically holes in and eyelets in bags um, 
and you can do it in like jumpers and hoodies and it punches the hole and puts the eyelet in and everything all in one go so it basically says now you can punch extra holes fix worn out snaps and eyelets in seconds punch pliers are the complete home mending solution and lets you quickly punch a hole in a belt purse strap or watch band add eyelets and even replace worn out snaps on pants and blouses it punches through the thickest leather and all types of fabric the adjustable wheel allows you to switch between five different hole sizes with just a twist it also has 75 assorted eyelets and snap fasteners for joining together two sections of fabric perfect for repairing clothing accessories and more so i just saw that for 3.99 i thought that would be absolutely amazing to have in my stash and um, to see where i can utilize it so yeah that was i thought was an absolute bargain so 3.99 from home bargains and then the other thing that I got, um, I got two items because I couldn't resist. I think they were about £3.50 each. They were quite reasonable. Now, when I went to the, the Creative Craft Fair show um, a couple of weeks ago, I did look at some other craft supplies. And one of those things was cross-stitch, which I've really been enjoying. And I've been progressing my cross-stitch. I'll actually show you how I'm getting on with that. So this is my Sewing for Therapy cross-stitch which should look like this. Sewing is my therapy. And this is where I've got to so far. Sewing is my therapy. I'm really pleased with it. I mean, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, I picked up that cross stitch pack, which was really, really cute. And I'll link down where I got all that from. I think it was, um, I did share it on my, on my haul, but I'll go into a bit more detail. Um, and then I also got a macrame, a macrame kit probably saying that wrong but macrame is how we say it in the uk and it was this heart wall hanging which cost me 10 pounds and this was the beginner's kit haven't done it yet and that cost me 10 pounds when i went into home bargains they had some macrame kits this one is the first one which is beautiful it's in in cream obviously Got the wooden dowel and the cotton cord and the wood bead and everything to make that part. It was £3.50 or £3.99. So I just thought that was amazing. So I got that. It looks a bit more complicated, so probably not a beginner's. And then also it's got the macrame um, plant wall hanging as well, which I thought would be great to put a little. And I've actually got this plant, this spider plant in my kitchen. So I'm thinking that I could make that <laughs> at some point. But again three or four pounds for those as well so if you're interested in getting to macrame you don't want to spend too much pop into home bargains and grab yourself a bargain so yeah they were also my little craft fix that i had this week so that's what i've been doing this week it's been a very very busy week and um, i have got plans for this week i really want to get the rest of my d stash um, my fabric for my d-stash uploaded onto instagram and um, so that that's out there in the world for people to look at and enjoy and hopefully take from me and make something beautiful with it so yeah that's going to be my main aim i also would like to get my dragon fruit dress done i don't like having too many halfway through projects on the go and also want to get my sew along finished so they are my priorities this week and then I also would like to make a start on the either the McCall shirt dress or the Nina the Nina dress I'm not sure which one yet um it will depend what mood I'm in so that's what my plans are I'm not going to give myself too many big plans um at the moment I have also got my collaboration with so do it Emma which is coming the end of July beginning of August which is the Cavalin pajamas I have cut out the pattern pieces i just can't decide whether to do the shorts or the, <laughs> the shorts or the trousers uh but i think i'm going to make a 12 first um of the shorts in just as a plain fabric um a cheap plain fabric that i've got in my stash because i really want to make sure that this fabric i've got is so special wait till you see it um that i can't afford to make any mistakes in it and i do like quite a, a large pajama i don't like to be feel restricted i think i'm definitely going to make the short sleeves um and at the moment i think i'm uh, i'm airing towards short sleeves and trousers but we'll see so yeah they are my plans i'm probably going to get the twill cut out and try and get it quickly sewn up with no fuss just to see the fit and that's it so yeah lots of plans um don't know how far i'll get with it all pretty much need to find this thread as well to finish my dragon fruit dress 
Right then, finally, um, for those of you that do follow me, you will have seen that I put on my community page that my interview with my lovely friend Crystal at my social thread went live this week. So if you haven't already watched that, please head over to Crystal's channel, my social thread. There's a 45 minute interview, if you can put up with me that long, where we basically just chat. And I actually forgot that I was being recorded at one point because we were just having such a lovely chat. Uh, we are friends um, and she's a lovely lady and she did a great job of interviewing and really enjoyed the chat. So please go over to her channel and check that out and let me know what you thought and if there's any other questions you want to ask me or me to elaborate on please reach out to me on instagram or on the comments and then just following on from that i did have a lovely um, message from a lady called cynthia and she basically sent me a message saying that she really enjoyed my interview with crystal and also she said that i really inspired i was one of the people along with some others that have inspired her to start her own channel so Cynthia started her own channel called Mountain Accents. I don't know whereabouts in America she lives, but her accent has got this, and I might be being completely ignorant here, but this really lovely southern drawl. It's like, oh, it's just beautiful to listen to. Um, and she started her YouTube channel. She hasn't got many subscribers at the moment. So, you know, I know this sewing community is very, very supportive sewing community so please go over and check her out her videos aren't massively long they're eight to ten minutes each i think she's got four videos on there and she's a massive um fan of beyond the pink door she buys fabric from beyond the pink door and also is a big fan of rachel from stitched up so yeah if you like those vloggers like that fabric company then i think you'll like the lovely cynthia so please go over give her videos a like subscribe let's help her um get her content out to more people and hi Cynthia if you're watching um so yeah that is all for me for now I'm sorry this one hasn't had lots of makes for you and um, I have been slowed down by the weather but I will hope to have a bit more content for you next week so if you um, have enjoyed this video please click the like button and as always if you don't subscribe I please urge you to subscribe there's a lot of you out there that watch my videos but aren't a subscriber and it would mean that if you are, do subscribe you get not and to click the notification bell you'll get notified of when I release a video so you'll never miss out um so yeah and if you want to support my channel even further than that I do have a Kofi account which you can buy me a coffee to show your support um, and I am using any funds that I get from that to help me to um, support the equipment that I need for my channel I've talked about some lighting that I'm looking to save up for not too far off getting that now so that's exciting and um, so yeah um, the links are all in the um, notes below so I hope you have a brilliant week of sewing. I hope that you have a lovely weekend and I will speak to you all soon. Happy sewing. Bye.